this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the 11th episode of the Muppet Show, which features Lena Horn. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Lena Horn, she is actually a very prominent singer, songwriter, and actress, especially in the field of jazz. She is actually a four-time Grammy Award winner, and she is also known to be a civic right activist, uh, including being a part of the International Civil Rights Walk of Fame at the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site. So, um, yeah, pretty much they decided to bring her in into the show. And you know what? Honestly, it's actually pretty surprising uh, the way that the episode went. Now, we all know The Muppet Show for being, like, being zany, being over the top. Anything can pretty much go. Like, they're basically live-action cartoons because of all the puppetry and stuff like that. But the biggest thing about this episode is actually by how subtle it is. This is pretty much a new side of the Muppets that we don't necessarily see or not a lot of people remember or even know about. Uh, there are surprisingly a lot of musical numbers, especially with Lena Horne, that like they're very toned down, they're very relaxed. Uh, like nothing is too like nothing goes over the top or anything or like they don't really take the time to actually be funny They take the time like to make the musical number good to make the musical number sweet and you know Just like keep it at a slow relaxing pace uh, a lot of these numbers would even include I got a name with Lena Horne. There's also um, what, what else is there? Uh, there, there is also uh, a, a duet with Rolf and Zoot where they actually do a love story with Rolf at the piano and of course Zoot in the saxophone. That one was actually pretty good. Uh, there was also uh, I'm Glad There Is You where Lena, where Lena Horne was singing a sweet little number with Gonzo. And then finally like all the Muppets would get together and they would uh, sing the song called Sing from Sesame Street. Which, like, that one is the most, like, bubbly, it's the most uplifting one of them all, but, like, it definitely has a relaxing tone. Like, this is just something that you can watch and you can unwind and you can relax and you can let the music just, like, sink in and just, you know, just let it play out as you, as you like, you know, sit there and be, you know, just let, let the music flow. Just, like, be calm with the music. It's definitely a side of the Muppets that we haven't seen and it's definitely nice to see that like when they would do a musical number they don't have to be as over the top they don't have to include any like crazy funny moments but speaking of which like there are some in the episode themselves not necessarily in those musical numbers but there are some numbers that they definitely are a lot of fun and enjoyable and definitely funny uh, one of which, I gotta say, the opening number is absolutely a lot of fun, and I'm surprised that it didn't catch on, because it's definitely the most Muppet part of the show, which is Ragmop, where it's actually a bunch of singing, uh, just a bunch of singing Muppet Mops, and it's actually pretty fun to see, you know, it's actually, um, really funny, and, like, the style of the Mops themselves, in a way, they kind of remind me of like the design of uh, you know those cavemen in wacky races it's like they're nothing but hair and you only see their big bulging noses coming out it reminds me a bit of that and you know it's actually a pretty good number I, I i will say it's definitely a lot of fun and i'm surprised that the muppets don't usually like they prominently show show it more because it's definitely one of the most muppet like numbers it's definitely a lot of fun it's hilarious and you know it's highly enjoyable but, of course, I would say if there is, like, one number that's definitely a real highlight, like, if there is one that people are really going to enjoy, of course, it's the Swedish Chef. There's one where, like, he tries to cook spaghetti and stuff like that. I'm not gonna say, like, what specifically happens. Like, that one you gotta see for yourself. That one is actually a lot of fun. I mean, like, with the Swedish Chef, you can't really go wrong. But it's, it's, it's like, one of the, um, one of the great starters of the Swedish Chef. Like, okay, yeah, I know that the Swedish Chef appeared in previous episodes, but considering that we are talking about Season 1, it's definitely one that, like, it, like, we're starting to see more of the Swedish Chef and how, like, he's pretty much made a name of himself in the Muppets. 
But not only that, there's also the bat, like what's going on backstage as well, which actually brings up a pretty interesting moment where Kermit, he has to pretty much organize like what's going on with the show. And like he had to cut out Miss Piggy's number. So because like, you know, we got Lena Horn. So like they want to put emphasis on her. So like pretty much Miss Piggy believes that, oh, like she's a great singer. Like she doesn't want to overshadow Lena Horn and stuff like that. But it leads up to some great moments. This is the kind of story, like backstory, that's actually very interesting. This is what keeps the Muppet Show going. And, you know, this is actually a pretty interesting one, like, to go through. And they actually pretty much follow the patterns. Like, it, it's rightly placed. And, like, some people may say that it could be a bit predictable. But it's still a lot of fun. The Muppets did manage to really execute it in a way that is highly enjoyable to watch. And it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, I guess overall, what I have to say with the episode is that this is surprisingly one of the most relaxing episodes, but it definitely is a really good one. You know, there are some, like, you know, there is a good mix of humor, but there's also a mix of good subtlety. There's a good amount of relaxing moments that you could just unwind, you know, and just like, you know, let, let the flow go. So, that's, so pretty much, this is not really the episode you would want to check out if you want to see, like, a lot of the Muppet zaniness, per se. But if you want, like, a good, calm episode of the Muppets, if you want to see, you know, a relaxing side of them that they're not all about the zaniness, but they're more about, like, you know, making a musical number good, like, make something enjoyable, make it respectable for the song itself, then this is definitely it. This is a good episode that you could just unwind, you can relax, and let the music carry you. Uh, this is definitely a good relaxing episode, and I highly do recommend it. Uh, it's definitely a new side of the Muppets that is not necessarily explored as much, but it's still an important side for the people to see. But anyways, that is pretty much it with this episode of the Muppet Vlog. Uh, I'm definitely relaxed, but, you know, maybe we can go back to the zany side, and perhaps we'll get a bit more with the next episode. So until next time, see you later, dudes! Thank you.